All right, Jennifer actually asks, what is our current YouTube strategy? What is our current YouTube strategy? So our current YouTube strategy is a very content explosion uh, type of uh, strategy. If you want to check out that, we've got uh, content in the Flip Lifestyle Blueprint that will teach you all about the content explosion, how we do that. But what we're trying to do on YouTube is take our content we're already creating, but then turn it into something that's much more consumable on YouTube, right? So we're actually attacking it from a couple different directions. The first thing is we take the podcast and we put it onto YouTube. So there are a lot of people that will watch the Flip Lifestyle podcast on the video. Like some people just want to see the video of me and my guest or whoever it is and we're talking on there, okay? So we do put the full episode on it, but it's in its own like channel, all right? We're not just dumping everything into one place. Um, it's, on its, or it's on its own playlist, I'm sorry. So we got a playlist of that. Then we do a thing we call internally, we call it the quick flip. Um, so what we do is we take any podcast that we do and we basically edit it down into like a, a eight to 15 minute version. The reason it's eight minutes um, is because you can show ads on YouTube videos. So I think eight minutes is the limit where you can show a mid roll or something like that. So we have, we do at least eight to 15 minutes. We edit that down and we create a smaller version of the podcast and we put that on YouTube also. And that one is much more like keyword driven, SEO driven. Like, what are we talking about? Um, we have a thumbnail that we create for it. And it's just a more short consumable version because most people aren't going to watch like an hour long video on YouTube. They're going to watch like a 10, 15 minute video, try to learn something. They're going to move on. Um, we also use that thing called quick flip uh, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. We can use it in other places. And then our newest strategy too, is taking really good highlights or clips um, like who listened to Jennifer Trinidad's video? Who's listened to it? Who listened to that that I shared a minute ago? It was about a 55 second video. Who listened to that? Here, I'll share it again real quick. Okay, I'm gonna share it again. All right, if you wanna listen to, to uh, what Jen had to say about her first session in my new program, uh, check that out. We take videos like that, 55 seconds, really good highlights, break them out and we can put those out in YouTube shorts. And then those YouTube shorts can actually point back to other videos and they can go places like that. Um, then my big strategy this summer, I'm going to start it um, in a couple weeks, uh, actually probably July, I'm wait about three or four weeks for this, is uh, I'm really going to take advantage of the ad platform on YouTube. And um, I'm going to spend money on just showing our videos to people, showing our podcast to people, showing my show to people. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to buy views, basically, just get in as front of as many people as possible. And then that's our content strategy there is to put great content onto YouTube and then pay to show it to as many people as possible. But then the concept of, uh, of YouTube eventually is to get them somehow into our email list. It's the same thing with my podcast. Like it all, all funnels work the same. All strategies are the same. Create content. Pay to show that content to people if you can. Get those people who are consuming your content on your email list. Build the relationship with them on your email list and sell them into your membership. Did y'all hear that? There is, there's no magic. The platform is irrelevant. It's totally, it doesn't matter. I could have used, I could have done that same thing I just told you on uh, uh, TikTok. I could have said it on uh, Instagram, whatever it is. Hey, hey guys, we're going to take the content we're already creating. We're going to share it on this platform. We're going to pay to show more people that content, but that content is going to offer them reasons to get on my newsletter, my email list. And then when they're on there, I'm going to email them every day to build a relationship, tell them good stuff. And then every couple of weeks or maybe every other week, I'm going to sell them something. It's the same y'all. It does not matter. You can insert words, whatever it is, put it through your Google translator, chat GPT it if you want to. That's how it works, right? So if you want to use YouTube, that's what you do. You create content on YouTube. If you can pay to show people the content, and then get those people on your email list. Once they're there, you got them. You can do a phone list too if you want to and text message them um, as well. So that is our current YouTube strategy right there. All right. 